Kyler Murray. Yeah. He is back. Yes, he is. And better than ever, as some would say. <laughs> but in this case, it's true. He looked incredible yesterday. Uh, he had said last week after Marvin Harrison didn't do much in his debut, it's not my job to throw the ball to him, which means it's my job to throw to the guy who's open. And when Harrison's open, throw it to Harrison. Yes, it does. And get Harrison going. And they did. And, and there's wisdom in that. You don't want to force it to any one guy. You just want to take what's there. And if nothing's there, you move around. You buy time. You take eight and a half seconds to finally throw the ball. There's no defending that. No, there's not. I mean, you know, play that play that, play back again that one more time if you can't The scramble. I mean, it's hilarious. You, you gotta, I, what I laugh at is the guy on the edge here on the bottom, that's Jared Verse, number eight. He sacks him twice and misses. Look, he misses him. He misses him again, and he's like, wait, the quarterbacks like this didn't play. I didn't play against guys like this in college football. What? He runs 4-3, and he's a quarterback? What the hell? They got it going. They're well-coached football team on both sides. Petsing, the offensive coordinator's good. We know Gannon's a good defensive mind. That was a butt whooping yesterday. I mean, it really was. And I, usually we see it the other way around, Rams. The Rams are a beat-up football team. They're very beat up. They can't run. Cooper Cup injuries, Puka Nakua not there, offensive linemen banged up, and then we've talked about it really the last two weeks. The Rams' defense is it, it's going to take a step back by all due accounts. It looks like it. I'm a little concerned about the Rams, but, damn, that was amazing by Kyler Murray and good for Marvin Harrison and company. I'm too. very concerned. Okay. They're concerned about the Rams. I want to talk about the Cardinals because I hunted and scoured the Internet for some Arizona Cardinals clips to kind of discuss to talk about react to whether it's on any of the shows um first things first uh the herd nfl live get up any of your shows i can't find anything i I, i'm i am sorry arizona cardinals fans how it must feel to get such a big exciting win you can't wait you're like oh my god that was amazing i can't wait to watch my favorite sports shows tune in and there's nothing. They're not talking about that unbelievable win. And Kyler Murray, look, I, I, some of those plays that I watched had to have been, without a doubt, some of the most unbelievable plays I've ever seen in my entire life. I mean, just unbelievable. It does have to be put in context, which I've now probably said 30 times in all my videos for, for both week one and week two, because it was against the Rams. The Rams are hurting. They are decimated right now. But they played tough against the Bills, a tough loss versus the Bills, and they dominated the Rams. That's good. That You're doing what you're supposed to do. I think the Bills are going to be a really good, great team. I don't think there's any team that's head and shoulders better than everyone else now. I, now, after these first two weeks, and that could change over time, but as of right now, to me, there is no dominant, oh my God, this is a juggernaut. Everybody is going to be afraid to face them. So the fact that the Cardinals now had a tough game against the Bills, and, eke, and could have eked that out. I mean, they just got Josh Allen. I mean, Josh Allen is an absolute freak of nature. He is an elite, absolute monster and a beast. No shame in that. Um, and then the Rams, you just ate them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and dessert just for the whole week. My God. And that's what you're supposed to do. And you did it. And you did it with flying colors, right? I mean, it, it looked like that, the, that you were playing a college team at that point. And that just bodes so well. For the Cardinals. I, I have no idea who the Cardinals are. I have no idea what their ceiling will be, what they can achieve. But I said this in a preseason, that if Kyler Murray can go back to who he was and kind of recapture um, what made him special, then the Cardinals can go very far, right? They will, they will, at the end of the day, go as far as Kyler Murray can take them. That is just when you're that type of quarterback and, and you're asked to do what, you're, what, what the Cardinals ask Kyler Murray, that's the way it's going to go. Right, you will live and die by Kyler, which is both good and bad. Right, I mean, it it really depends. Um, but um, the offense is booming. Um, Kyler's reminding everyone. These are my notes that I wrote. How great he is. Um, I love the balance play calling. Um, and I know I'm saying that they're relying on Kyler Murray, but I do know right. They obviously established a dominant run. Right, of course. But again, it has to be put in context, especially with considering who they faced against the Rams. And I just want to be able to see them continue to do that um but it was good because this game they didn't ask kyler to do too much um but when they did call his number he made just some of the most beautiful throws right he really really did so um 
I'm just curious if my initial feelings of Kyler Murray um, and this team and saying that they will go as far as, um, you know, he takes them. I'm curious when what it looks like when they continue to play tougher teams in a tougher scoring game, because it still does feel like when push comes to shove, not unlike the Bills, they rely on Kyler Murray. I love this game and this style of play calling when the game clearly calls for what it calls for. But I want to be able to see them continue to have this level of, of balanced approach and balanced attack when the score is 21 to 20, you know, five minutes left in the fourth quarter. I don't want to have to see Kyler Murray constantly um, be Superman because I just don't think I don't think that's sustainable for any quarterback, whether it's Patrick Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes um, Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson. So I, I always try to think big picture. I think. You all have to figure out what do you what are the expectations for the team. If you think that they can truly go far, if you think that they can actually win and make some noise in the playoffs, then to me, balance will always be key. If you're just trying to look for splash and be exciting in the regular season, if you're trying to essentially be the Dallas Cowboys, then sure, you don't need as much balance. You can rely on just one or two weapons or just really live and die by your quarterback. And again, I'm not saying that this is what the Cardinals are doing. I'm just trying to talk from like a big picture approach. Um, like I love when Kyler uses his legs to throw versus just ripping off a run right he was using his legs against the um against the rams to move around to extend the play but still looking down downfield it was in service to throw the ball right and when he does throw he's when he was running he was sliding which is awesome which is great um you you love to see that right that that's that is what i consistently want to see out of kyler murray but again it is exhausting even if you are just sliding all day and every day you're still putting a lot on the plate of a, of a quarterback and so even if there is a quarterback who can consistently rip off 50 60 70 80 100 yards rushing a game but he slides and doesn't take any hits i still think that's a tremendous amount of it of um a mileage on your quarterback because you're still asking him just to do so much it's just you're going to get this cumulative fatigue and i'm fishing for issues you know i'm going to be very clear i'm fishing and i've done it with every single team to try to just really clarify who all the who are all these teams are and for the teams that i think that can actually be a threat can really make teams sweat when they face them and make some noise come time playoffs. I'm trying to iron out any of the issues and see what they look like moving forward. Perfect example of this is watching the Philadelphia Eagles tonight. I'm recording this um, the night before it's posting at night at like literally one o'clock in the morning because I can't find anything Cardinals. And I was like, I want to post Cardinals stuff. Um, so this is going to post, you know, I guess in a few hours technically, but I just finished watching the Eagles versus the Chiefs, uh, the Chiefs, the Eagles versus the Falcons game. And it was a good game. It was a gritty game. It was a tough game. I won't bore you with the details of that game because this is a Cardinals uh, focused video. But the Eagles seem to be too, even though Jalen Hurts is looking great and is actually looking really good. He had a bad interception at the end of the game, but, you know, that was just one of those unfortunate plays. But he's looking really good, making some beautiful passes, truly beautiful passes, using his legs to extend the drives, to, ex to extend not only to get the first down, but as well as also look to pass. But they're too reliant on him. There was too many key plays that Jalen had to really force his way through. That's not sustainable to me. It's not sustainable. And it's never been shown to be sustainable for Lamar Jackson, who is the king runner. That's why I emphasize the live and die by um, Kyler Murray and extending the plays and doing all that with your legs. It's great. It's a highlight reel. It's unbelievable and exciting. But at the end of the day, I still need to see you just play complimentary conservative football 101 that is what has pretty much consistently shown to win right in the nfl some of these other things sometimes you really need to rely on them sometimes you really do need jalen hurts to to get by take a big hit and get that first down but it does it wears you down it's why they stopped doing that with patrick mahomes over the years and it's obviously played paid dividends for them um obviously that that can't be disputed so i want to see the cardinals be a good team i want to see them be a great team i want to see kylo murray remind the nfl and all the fans all around who he is and what he's capable of doing he's so electric so fun so exciting and we deserve to see him in the playoffs we deserve to see him do awesome things in the playoffs have these big time moments right have these big time moments 
in the playoffs, in games that truly matter. That's why I'm kind of hammering that home. I'm not trying to be a hater. I'm not trying to rain on anyone's parade. I'm just trying to think bigger picture. That's all. That's the only reason why I'm emphasizing that. So hopefully I didn't lose you Cardinals fans because um, I just think that they're just a wildly exciting team. I think there's still a lot of moving parts that they're still trying to figure out. But that is what you do in the beginning of the season. In these first few weeks, you're trying to figure out what works, what doesn't. And you're trying to kind of go from there, build your identity. This is going to be the first season that Kyler Murray is truly healthy with the new head coach with the new identity, with this new approach, with some new weapons. And it's 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 gonna kind of just take an identity of its own in a lot of ways, right? Um and so uh yeah, it just it's just gonna be exciting to see how this team progresses. I want to see them play another tough game that doesn't involve Josh Allen, right? Play, play a tough game against a tough competitor that doesn't have an absolute elite of a beast of a quarterback. Right, that is what I'm exciting to what I'm excited to see, um, because that to me then um, will be another good frame of reference. And then I want to see what they look like again playing against another bad team as well to see like do you just do you demolish these bad teams right? Do you continue to dominate? Because I don't care who you know how bad how many injuries the Rams had. That was an absolute beating, an absolute beating. Um, so I'm excited to see what the Cardinals continue to do and what they can put, um, you know, put forward, but those are just my thoughts. I would absolutely love to hear yours. What do you guys all think? Um, do you think the Arizona Cardinals are actually on a path to being a great team right now? Or do you think that, you know what, tough loss against the, the bills, which means they're not good as good as the bills, but, and then they beat the Rams and, you know, the Rams are just not playing well right now. They're injured, blah, 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 blah. Or do you think that, nope, this is for real. Let's go Cardinals winning the division, getting into the playoffs and making some noise. Let me know in the comments below. I read every single comment. So whether you agree with me or disagree with me, either way, let's get in some discussions. Let's get in some fights, but ultimately let's just have some fun. And please do consider subscribing. We are building an amazing community here and I would absolutely love to see you part of it. I want to build something that we all genuinely feel connected to. Something that we're really excited to be part of. I think we're well on our way to doing it. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as it really does help with the visibility and the algorithm. Thank you so much and see you next time.